Good morning, day nine, and I've woken up with something that I'd read about, but I didn't quite know what the experience would be like until it actually happened to me. There is a strange taste in my mouth. I would call it almost sweet. I think I had it going on last night before bed, but I definitely wasn't sure, was it happening because of the diet or was it happening because of the smoothie that I had drank? But here we go, a different kind of morning mouth. Supposedly, it is one of the signs that I'm in ketosis and the ketones that my body is producing for energy or leaving this weird back of my tongue taste right now. I mean, it's not bad. Anywho, let's get to the morning measurements. Pretty big drop from yesterday down to 214.8. That's down more than half a pound. Body fat percent back up a little bit. Water, muscle, this scale. If you watched yesterday's video, you know that I'm in the middle of an army weekend and this is this morning. So I was able to fit this part in before I started the day. I'm gonna try to get three meals in at three relatively normal times, but at this point, I have no idea what the day holds for me. Off to breakfast. And as far as breakfast goes, I would say this one was pretty standard. Two fried eggs, three pieces of bacon, a little extra cheese on top, plus a cup of keto-friendly coffee. And what's more, I got to eat it during the breakfast time, like before I started my army workday. So I've got that going for me today. Total calories, 598, grams of fat, 49, grams of protein, 32, grams of net carb, three, and a cost of $1.74. When you know it, lunch, I actually got to eat at lunch. And in my continuing mission to polish off some of our leftovers, this is a throwback to dinner from my third day on the keto diet. Salmon with zucchini and flavored by this keto friendly marinade. As I did a few days back when I had it for another lunch, put the zucchini back into the air fryer. Man, that makes a difference. Then plated and served. Calories for this dish, 695 grams of fat, 41 grams of protein, 74, which I've come to expect every time I have fish now, and grams of net carb, one. Total cost, $5.77. That fish gets me every time on the cost. And though my military duty certainly kept me busy throughout the day, I was able to also squeeze in a snack today. A pretty simple one, pork rinds and spinach and artichoke dip. And this time I didn't let myself just eat mindlessly. So things were a little more controlled than the last time I had this snack. Calories consumed 200 grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, 11 grams of net carb, three, and a cost of 65 cents. This of course brings us to dinner. And by now I'm sure you've picked up that yes, I got to have all my meals at normal times. This one in particular, I'm actually making up for what happened yesterday. My wife had made this awesome seasoned ground chicken to put together these taco bowls and I didn't get to partake. It's okay though. I loaded up today. All my favorite ingredients in here, chicken, cheese, some lettuce, avocado, sour cream, salsa, delish. And the tally for this taco bowl, 507 calories, 38 grams of fat, 34 grams of protein, seven grams of net carb, and a cost of $2.24. Put it all together and what do you got? I got the day's totals for you. Calories, 2,000, only about 50 over what I'm budgeted. Grams of fat, 144, eight, grams under grams of protein 151 almost 30 grams over which that i can really attribute straight to that fish dish and total grams of net carb 14 well under my daily limit of 24. cost for the entire day ten dollars and forty cents it is so funny to me that i could have such a similar day to yesterday as far as workload but such a vastly different day when it comes to what i consumed but hey that's life now let's get to how I'm feeling. First and foremost, I mentioned it this morning, but oh my gosh, this, this taste thing that I had read about, the ketones, I know I'm in ketosis, guys, because I've had this metallic-esque, semi-sweet taste at the back of my tongue since I woke up ever present throughout the day, no matter what I ate or what I drank, it has persisted. No peeing on a piece of paper for this guy to figure out that I'm in ketosis. If I had to try and more accurately describe it, the, it a lot of what I've read is, is for sure the right thing. It's a metallic kind of taste, almost like I have a piece of metal that I have in my mouth and it's just kind of slowly seeping, almost like juices from gum down the back of my throat. And it's not intrusive at all, but it is just, it's just weird. And I'm having trouble 
getting used to its ever presence. Unfortunately, that is not the only side effect of the diet that I'm experiencing. Uh, you may recall from those that have watched two days ago, a bit of toilet talk without having to go into any more details. Constipation, it, it remains. I did a bit more reading on it. At this point, I'm not super concerned. If it goes for a couple more days, I'm gonna be very concerned that drink will make another appearance and some changes will have to happen as far as introducing maybe some supplements or some more fibrous foods. But I say this all because if you're one of those people watching this video or this series to try and gauge, can me just regular person do a diet like this without getting so intense into it and knowing all the different nutrition and fitness things? The answer is still yes, but I hope by sharing my experience, you go into it with a bit more eyes wide open. Truly knowing and seeing what to expect. That is all I've got for today. Tomorrow begins anew, nine days down, 51 to go. And I hope you'll continue to join me on this journey.